Hi, Shador. Hi, How's Sarah. it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> well, thanks. I always like starting these things off like we just got online. We haven't been chatting for 5, 10, 15 minutes beforehand. I didn't see your adorable corgi. <laughs> oh, love it. Love, love, love that you are living your best life. It's been yeah. It's been too long, um, mm -hmm. but it feels like no time at all. You mm -hmm. graduated 2019, and I still remember your wonderful grad dress and your giant bouquet of flowers <laughs> and um, taking some pictures with you uh, in the Dow, I guess, quad or courtyard, and it was just such a wonderful day. And um, yeah, one of the reasons why I wanted you to come here is that you have a unique story and um, some insights to share with our DAL, our DAL students, our third and fourth year accounting students. So mm -hmm. you went through the ringer and you survived and it's been <laughs> a few years. You've worked um, and we'll get into all that story. Is there mm -hmm. any other reason, I know I'm kind of going into my first question, um, any other reason why you think I asked you in particular to do this video? Um, I think just like what you mentioned, you are recording a video for your current student. So maybe you are seeking for some advice, if, like see if I can help them with their career or like answer their questions. And also I remember like when I asked you, you if you can be my reference for my current work, you like you said yes, like very immediately. And I feel very grateful for you. So, so no matter what you are asking, I'm very happy to help you with. Thank you. And I am so thrilled it worked out. I'm so thrilled that they were smart and, and snapped you up. And um, yeah, you're, like you said, living, living your best life. And it's nice to connect and reconnect. And always, I always have your back. So thank you. Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't planned. Normally the compliments don't come. <laughs> Normally it's, you were so mean. You made me do a really big test. Do you remember the really big test? Uh, what test? <laughs> oh, um, the really, okay, that's good. I'm glad that it's not, um, it's not kind of burned into your brain, but the, uh, <laughs> consolidation, the second consolidation oh, test. Oh, I did. Like, I feel like everyone suffered from consolidation. <laughs> sure. oh One yeah. student saw me in the hallway and ran the other way the day after. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm glad that, uh, that we've come a long way since then. <laughs> Um, so, okay. What, like, it's been, what is it? It's been almost two years this April. Uh, what have you been up to since? Um, I, I think I'm like pretty lucky. Like I got a job after two months after my graduation. So I started, I moved to St. John and worked until right now. And after one year, I, I met my boyfriend. <laughs> He used to work oh. at Ernst Young and as a like as a tax analyst. And right now he works in he got his his CPA, so he can help me out. And Wonderful. Yeah. So wait a minute. <laughs> that, there's a lot of we did talk offline, but there's a lot more in here. This is this is getting good. All right. So you moved to St. John. Uh, you get the job in, I think you said after a few months. So you moved mm -hmm. out there in mid-July. Yes. And you moved out um, to work in St. John in industry. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. yes, okay. yes. And yeah. you met your boyfriend um, and he's a tax analyst at Ernst & Young. Yeah. Also in, also in St. John? Yes. And he Perfect. used to be like upstairs of my company. But right now, because he moved to Grand Thornton. So, but still very close. Like, yeah. Perfect. That is really sad. And you mentioned that he's a CPA and that yes. will come in yeah. handy. Why would it come in handy, Isidore? Uh, are you currently enrolled in CPA? Yes, I am. Um, I'm in core two. Like now, very lucky when I just enrolled core one because I missed my uh, study permit. So I wait for another like core one to offer. And I didn't pass the core one at the first time. So it takes another term. And I made COVID too. Like it delayed, got delayed. So right now I'm in core two and kind of freestyle now <laughs> no this is great so thank you and first of all 
it's um, it's not uncommon to need a second shot at core one. It's difficult. There's a lot coming at you. So thank you for sharing because so many times um, people don't share. And then when it happens to somebody, they think it's just them. And um, <laughs> right. So, you know, what are your tips? Like, what did you do either differently uh, the second time or, you know, uh, or where do you think, you know, if you, if you had to give any advice to somebody that was unsuccessful their first time, what would you tell them? Um, like when I see my transcript, I see I got a CD in finance, but I got a like a NC in financial reporting. So I didn't focus on the right place. So yeah. second time, like I focus more on financial reporting and audit instead of finance and don't spend too much time on like don't, don't set your goal to get a CD. <laughs> so yes. good enough. So, yes. Oh, my favorite words. Yeah. Good. <laughs> good yeah. enough. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's pretty different. For, like the learning CPA is pretty different from the learnings in university. So core one is like a transit place. So it just change your method, learning method to like be a good fit for CPA study. So yeah. if you fail, it's not a, really a bad thing. You learn like this is the wrong method you need to change. So it's good right. for like other studies as well. So um, I was sad for two seconds and, <laughs> and then I'm pretty positive about that. Perfect. <laughs> no, I love it. And uh, those finance things can be super tricky because mm -hmm. like, especially with the quants, not tricky because um, you obviously nailed it because you got CD, but it's tricky to kind of move on to leave yeah. it at the good enough and move on. And so, you know, um, I, I'm just, I'm so proud of you that, you know, your actions, hey, this is what I did. This is what the transcript said. This is what I changed. And this was the result, like amazing. And now you're in core two and you are going to be applying that same methodology of enough is enough and just mm -hmm. switching from um, from financial reporting and audit and tax into your management accounting and your strategy and governance and the, keeping that finance strong. So that's yeah. exciting. What do you prefer more? I don't know if I know this. Uh, what do you? I prefer management accounting because I'm a private accountant and I work for a real estate company. So mm -hmm. it's more like within the company. So I prefer management accounting more. And I found because I'm a private accountant, so for audit and tax, it's not really my area. So mm -hmm. I found it's pretty hard for me to learn core one in, instead of core two. Mm -hmm. And right now for core two, like if I have any questions I can ask my manager and the controller, they are very willing to help me as well. So I found core two is a little bit easier. Yeah, no, um, absolutely. When you kind of work and learn in the same mm -hmm vein and have what wonderful support around, like, yeah. you know, with people that that's their specialty. Cool. That's, that's exciting. Um, oh my gosh. And so you can say pass if you, if you want to say pass, but how did you meet your boyfriend? How did you meet uh, your It's, it's kind of tricky. Like in the co when COVID just came to Canada, people are not prepared. So there's no enough masks. And he imported some masks from China before it happens. Mm. So I think he's like he's pretty smart, and he sell it within the Chinese group. So I add him, and we got a connection, and we start chatting. Found so many like common interest. So like we start like eating hot pot together. <laughs> so yeah, and walk his dog. So yeah. So does his dog and your dog do they get along? Uh, his dog is my dog now, <laughs> so oh, we have one oh, corner. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Very, Joy is um. What's um, what's her Chinese name? Uh, he's Ch oh. Wei Jiang. Yes. Wei oh, Jiang. sorry. Um, your Joy. Uh, Xi Le. She okay. means Joy. <laughs> yes, I love, love, love. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Oh my. Um, well, <laughs> um, okay. So I was, my, my next question was going to be, um, you know, making sure that you still have time with your work, with your um, CPA studies, because oftentimes students will be like, oh man, like, do you have any time for fun? Well, <laughs> it sounds like you are having a blast and living yeah. your best life to door. 
<laughs> yeah, so. I won't complain. <laughs> no, no. Um, perfect. So, okay. Um, how do you use, like, do you see a lot of, um, like, how does your Dell undergrad work into first day in July, um, you are at your job at the real estate company working in private accounting. How have you seen um, similarities or differences from your accounting degree in, in practice? So, um, I didn't use much like knowledge from accounting, like not too much knowledge in accounting at the beginning, but I think the, like the skills are the same. Like mm. you need attention to details and you need like your management skills, organization skills. Like this is what I learned from school, from accounting. And I use them in my work as, as well. Yeah, no, I think that's perfect. So it wasn't necessarily one for one, like you weren't doing the same debits and same credits, but you, you learned how to learn and then you learned how to be uncomfortable, press, mm -hmm. putting words in your mouth. And then, you know, and diving in and conquering it and figuring it out. And, you know, hearing you speak about accounting and hearing about those transfer skills, I just hear such confidence in your voice and it's amazing. Cause mm -hmm. if yeah, we can, like, go ahead. Yeah, no, like, like public accountant, they, I think they use a lot of knowledge. They have a big picture of accounting, but uh, for our private accountant, like we are specialized I'm specialized yeah. in account receivables or account payables, sales or like uh, expense. So like we are focused on the different things. So it's, Ab yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and so many times mm -hmm. it's, it's funny because, <laughs> you know, I'm going to say this and I might have to like caveat it, but it's like school can't teach you everything that you're going to need to know because there's just a lot to know. We can't you know, spend four months on um, private accounting, but we can, like you said, provide the skill set, um, the, uh, the, you know, a platform for confidence. And um, so I'm, I'm thrilled that you're like, hey, one for one, this is very specialized. And I was able to do it and, and do it well. And this is really exciting to hear. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, being specialized in real estate accounting is, is challenging. Um, Heather, you know, with going online to COVID, how have you found that, sorry, going online, but now you're back in person. So how have you found, you know, being uh, at a place, uh, um, doing your CPA studies, having COVID, like how are you balancing or managing all of this transition? Um, like I think for our company, like um, because of COVID, we just work in a different way, but not like other business like bank, they close. Like for us, like there, there's even more work. Like you don't see your coworker, but you need to translate it in a like visible work to them and explain to them as well. Like you need to set up a lot of team calls, which help me practice my communication skills as well. And I personally like outdoor activities. Like when I feel very stressful, I will go out, go for a hack, or do some work, work my dog. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. So yeah, my stress, yeah. No, yeah, so my it. stress will get out. So, yeah. Do you find it hard when you're, cause if, like for me, when I'm stressed and I'm working through something, I want to keep working through it. So how do you, how do you have the discipline to, to go outside and get the fresh air? Like I always like, outdoors like even when I was at school like even tomorrow it has a midterm when I feel very stressful I will still go outdoors to let my stress out which I think it will help me to learn like at night <laughs> yeah, yeah so. No. so you're like okay the stress it will be here it's not going yeah. anywhere or the test you know the stressor or the test so I need to take care of me and having that longer term vision of okay gonna go get some fresh air, work this through, and it will help me not hurt me. But it's, yeah. it's not easy to do, so kudos. <laughs> um, so our audience right now, they are third year accounting students or majors, uh, or fourth year accounting students or majors. Um, we have been online uh, for almost a year now. Um, so this may or may not 
play into your advice, but I want to hear from, from your point of view, um, what advice do you have for current uh, DAL accounting majors? Um, I do have something I want to share. Yeah. Like after I worked one year at my company, I talked with my controller. I said, like, there are so many competitors. They want this job. Why you choose me? So, and his, her answer like really surprised me. He, she said, because in the interview, I mentioned I was in a rowing club. <laughs> like the rowing club. Yeah, in the rowing so, club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, she, so she thinks like I'm a, I have a very good skill in teamwork. So she picked me up. So what I want to say is, I think like for Dell students, um, work term are mandatory. So after graduate, like you have, everyone has their work experience, have their CPA. So you need to have something unique to let your employer hire you. Like now just focus on study, but also like other experiences. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And I have no idea, you could have been the top of your rowing class or the bottom or somewhere in between, but it didn't matter to your employer. And it was something that it enriched your experience. Like you had a better time at Dell mm -hmm. and it ended up being the differentiating factor. And thank you for sharing because I think it's so much stronger coming, coming from you. This was your defining um, moment um, because yeah. Oh, I'm just so, thank you so much for sharing that. <laughs> Get out and have fun, people. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, hey, Jador, I'm asking this question to everybody, and it can be as long or short, as personal or non-personal as you want to make it. Mm -hmm. What is your definition of success? Um, I think COVID has taught me a lesson. Like, I think people should focus more on the process instead of the final goal. Like I think the success means like for me is having desires in life. Like you know what you wanna do and you work hard for it. Not only to achieve the goal, but enjoy it. Enjoy the process of achieving the goals. I like that, thank you. Do you have um, any final comments? Anything else to add? Actually, before that, hold on, hold on. Before that, I'm <laughs> going to rewind a little bit. Um, you know, what are your future plans or options that you're considering? And if if it's you know if there's, I'll just leave it open. So any, any future plans or options you're considering in the next little bit or a lot of it. Um. I have only a plan, I only have a plan for a short term. Like for me, for right now, I just like want to focus on CPA and finish the CPA in one or two years and get promoted in the company <laughs> and yeah. see where it things goes. Because I think for a people like he's always working higher. Like when you at this stage, you look at the you at this stage, you will see like why you don't do this. But when you are at here, you don't know. Yeah. Like you can see a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so it will change as I see more things. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. It'll change. And so it ties in really good with your definition of success, you know, working hard, enjoying the process, mm -hmm. um, having those, you know, short to mid range goals um, mm -hmm. to, you know, let, you know, see yourself progress and see yourself continue to build. And then, yeah, you don't, you also want to stay open to opportunity because, because you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. And when you're at that, you know, um, if we're too focused and this came up in another call, um, but if we're too focused on this, then we might miss out something really, really good over here. So you, you got it. Yeah. And thank you so much um, for sharing this wisdom and um, with our students. Uh, this is, this is amazing. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, is there anything I missed or any final comments, anything else you'd like to add um, for our students? Um, I want to talk to the like student who don't know if they want to choose private accountant or public accountant. 
like yes. um like if you don't know if you want to choose public accountant or private accountant i would suggest to go for public accountant because <laughs> oh. after that yeah because after that you you will have a big picture of accounting and you will have more knowledge and at that time you when you want to change to private accountant you still have the choice like i don't mean i'm not happy with my current job or i don't like private accountant but i like for those one who don't know which to choose you may want to start with private public accountant yeah That's my advice yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you uh and i think you eloquently wrapped it up that it's the advice isn't um it's because you recall like correct me if i'm wrong but it's because you recall you know um being a student at one point and you know the fact that there's a lot of options a lot of things and sometimes you don't know so unless unless you do know like here yeah. are some things to consider and to keep kind of that bigger picture open so thank you for speaking to the students that aren't you know necessarily where um what you were struggling with but being you know because you probably heard your friends struggling and different like classmates struggling so thank you my goodness all righty um Jador, thank you no problem <laughs> sam <laughs> um i wonder if there's any otherwise for me <laughs> oh all right well i am going to turn off the recording and uh we are going to continue this talk so <laughs> that i can tailor this um hmm.